Hello everybody and welcome to day 11 of my beginner sewing course. I just realized that we're actually like a third of the way done. Like good job if you're still here. Uh, keep going, you're doing amazing. Uh, and we're gonna keep learning some more difficult stuff and like some like cooler stuff. So like keep going, you're doing amazing. Uh, today, like I said in the last video, we're going to be learning how to do a rolled hem. So that's super exciting. It's going to be very useful when you're sewing dresses or skirts. Um, and I'm going to show you a really, really cool technique that's going to look super seamless, super cute, super, super amazing. So let's get into it. Okay, so what you want to do here is take a piece of muslin or whatever fabric you have on hand and cut out a circle in the middle. I just used my curved ruler to um, uh, cut out that circle, as you can see. And then after that's done, you just take a ruler or a measuring tape and you place it there. And then you just mark the bottom here and you do that like all around, like this, like this, like that is gonna give you a perfect circle. And that's the perfect base for our uh, rolled hem. All right, so first things first, sorry about my dad. He's making a little bit of noise. Bear with me. Um, what you're going to do is take the edge of your fabric and fold it about um, half an inch. That's pretty good. And you're going to want to fold that, fold it half an inch all around like that. And then what you're going to want to do is just press. like that so let's just do that all over Alright, so now it's all folded as you can see pretty much everywhere and what we want to do now is just sew along that edge right here, um, sew at about 1 8 to like 1 16th of an inch from that folded line here. So let's take it to the sewing machine. Okay, so I actually switched out my thread for matching thread just to show you how seamless um, this seam is actually going to be. Uh, I'm choosing a straight stitch again and putting the length at three. So like I said before, we want to sew really, really close to that edge. So just use your hand wheel to see where your needle lands. No, oh, this is pretty good. I'd say that's um, 1 16th of an inch. So yeah, let's start sewing. Don't forget to back tack. Be careful to always stay really close to that edge. With this hem, going slow is the way to be the most precise. Now, of course, you're going to trim off your thread. And the next thing you're going to want to do is actually trim off and leave like one eighth of an inch. Um, next to that uh, seam line. So trim off everywhere around that. Really go as close as you can, but don't actually like accidentally trim off your, um, your seam. So as you can see, I'm going really, really close to that um, seam line, but without ever touching it. That's what you wanna do. And it helps to cut like, like this so place your scissors like you can see kind of the the shadow of the scissors and it's super close to that line but not directly on it so place your scissors at an angle and that's going to give you the best cut like the cleanest cut and the closest cut so now as you can see i trimmed um cat hairs again sorry I trimmed the excess, but it's not perfect everywhere. So I'm going to try to make the line more perfect so that when we fold it again, it's easier and cleaner. 
this right here is what we're looking for so a really really straight cut so now what we want to do is just fold our hem again just a tiny little fold and just press that all over so let's do it all right so this is what the fold should look like and what we're going to do now is so um right where that seam line is right now so kind of like stitching in the ditch all right so again i adjusted my stitch length to three and i'm gonna place my needle exactly where that previous seam is so that looks good let's start sewing It's nice to actually have a guide that you can follow, like you know exactly where you're supposed to sew. As you can see, we now have a beautiful finished edge and it looks super seamless. And this is what the inside looks like. So as you can see, a uh, rolled hem is way more technical and difficult than a straight hem. It's a lot more time consuming but it is necessary if you're uh, sewing a hem on a curve because if you just sew a straight hem, there's going to be a lot of bulk and it really just isn't going to work. It's going to look really bad. So you just, you just need to do the roll hem. And I find that this technique is, yes, it takes a long time, but it is the nicest finish. So I do really recommend using it. I guess your homework is just to practice your rolled hem. Um, I know it is time consuming, so like it doesn't have to be perfect. Like the more you do it, the easier and more beautiful it's gonna get uh, but yeah just keep practicing and in the next video we're gonna learn how to do a lettuce hand so i will see you then